Hezbollah infrastructure in Syria as well. At the beginning of the war, we attacked from the ground and from the air more than 50 such targets that were deployed in Syria. We will continue to attack wherever Hezbollah is present and we will continue to act wherever it is required in the Middle East. What is true for Lebanon is true for Syria and is true for other more distant places. On the other hand, a Hamas official said that 120 days of war in Gaza is a sign of shame on Israel and its allies. He condemned U.S. strikes in Lebanon and thanked Egypt and Qatar for efforts to help negotiate a ceasefire. As of now, the mediators are awaiting a response from Hamas to a proposal for the war's first extended ceasefire, drafted last week with Israeli and U.S. spy chiefs and communicated by Egypt and Qatar. In Tel Aviv, Israeli demonstrators gathered to urge the Israeli government to secure the release of the remaining Hamas hostages in Gaza. A separate demonstration against the government was held in a main square, demanding Prime Minister Netanyahu to resign. Now, thousands of pro-Palestinian demonstrators also gathered in London calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. According to the police, around 20,000 people gathered in Whitehall to listen in to the speeches after marching through the city. Many of them waved Palestinian flags and held signs calling for an end to the war. awaits you. Thank you very much, London Chambers around Britain are staying. As Israel remains entrenched in a war with the Hamas militant group, the U.S. House of Representatives recommended allocating $17.6 billion in new military assistance to the Jewish nation. With the war in Gaza dragging on, the billions of dollars in aid will have allocations for uh, renewing Israel's missile defense systems, manufacturing artillery and other munitions, and also acquiring advanced weapons systems.